Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Fenem where the sun is just going down. I just wanted to have a quick look over here and see what the Mayans were doing. They seem to have a new building on the go that I have not seen before. Look at this. Oh, isn't this amazing? They are filling up their space well. Some sort of temple, I believe. Oh, is this a sacrificial altar? Oh, that'd be great. Uh, other things that I have done whilst we have been between episodes. I have grown myself some celery. Uh, no real reason why celery in particular. Uh, it's just where I was where I was headed. I looked up some, some food recipes. I decided onion was something that I was missing. And the closest thing I could do on that entire run was the celery. If we have a look at the onion seed here, um, <coughs> we got the celery. So that was just one step back. But if we go back to the onion and have a look at this Brussels sprouts, you can see that for the Brussels, we need both peas and cabbage, two things I don't have. Um, we also need lettuce and broccoli, two things I don't have. So the broccoli is lettuce and daisy. I still don't have the lettuce, so the lettuce is daisy and celery. So obviously we need to do this celery up quite a bit. So we're going to wait for this to uh, to do its growing thing. Another thing that I thought we might do today, because I finally have all the ingredients for, is this bit down the bottom here, the uh, project rebuild as I like to call it, or in this quest line here, is the building one. The one that enables us to get a new, a new uh, village on the go. Uh, unfortunately, this contraption here is currently cooking all the clay that is needed for it. And we're going to be a little way off there. Something else that has been happening. Hey down there, guys. Uh, we've been using the grinder. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, he got a little bit cl close to me, hasn't he? Um, so that's been ticking over to hopefully, if I can land. Oh, I never land this. Only ever. Oh, forgot about him. Only ever miss this jump when I'm recording. I'm actually uh, kind of impressed of how quickly I just kind of turned around, killed that guy and got back on with what I was doing. But here we are working on a pink slime. Uh, I think I wasted a fair bit of essence in the interim uh, as I didn't have the exact copy down right. So it kept on spawning another guy and then it just wouldn't work properly. We're very, very close. Shall we just wait for this to, uh, to top up here? Of course, now that I'm sat here and waiting for it, it's going to take forever. Maybe maybe that's not what we want to do. Something I do actually want to do, if we have a look inside this book and come back to the life rebooted. Now, a lot of these have been sat here for a little while because we've got things like Modest Hive. I mean, who, who wants a Modest Hive? And also things like the Wintry Hive. I mean, these are nice. They're, they're not really amazingly good. That's why I haven't been claiming them. But the exotic species down the bottom here... I saw these and I was like, oh yeah, that was good. And I kind of passed my eye over here and went, yeah, they're great. But I didn't quite check out this Eulorium princess here. And, and now that I've seen it, I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to get a reactor going. So having this Eul Eulorium princess, I think would be amazing for it. If we come over towards the B area over here, we've got their little, um, what do we call this? The automatic... Uh, industrial apiary. Man, words. Words do me well. So I'm going to put this guy in here. Now, he's just a princess, or she's just a princess. Uh, I'm wondering, actually, what we'll breed with her, because obviously we want to put in something that will not. So we've got the cyanite, the eulorium, and the nuclear. Um, that That's it. These are the only ones we've got to avoid. So if I was to, say, I don't know, put myself in one of these common drones, perhaps two common drones. I'm really scared that I'm going to get blown up at this time of night. Uh, come on here and pop this in here. This should uh, just keep on ticking over for us a little bit, right? Oh, man. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. She doesn't like me. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. Oh, wow. Have I managed to uh, turn my... My robust into an unweary. Oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Let's pop this back in here. No, that's not a thing. Okay, we'll keep hold of this and uh, go and see what's going on about this pink slime. Okay, so one's actually already spawned at some point. That's a little bit disappointing. Has that made me pink slime down here, though? It hasn't. Now, this was something that I was noticing quite often anyway in the past couple of times I've spawned him in. Have you got a problem, mate? Is there a problem? Something I can help with? 
thought that might be the case. Uh, so let's go up and, and see what's going on and wait around this time. Because I think I've got to kill this guy by hand. Okay, the essence is absolutely pouring in from the... Uh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Right, let's get down there and let's do it ourselves. Okay, we are going to have to move that then, aren't we? We can do that right now. We can do that right now. It's going to be a little bit of a waste of some of this essence. Uh, but we can definitely correct this. There is a spider coming. Uh, not a spider, a skeleton coming after me. We'll have to deal with him when we get to the top. That's quite all right, though. Let's just kind of lean over the side. You Eat my uh, blue laser bullets. There we go. Blue, green. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so if we use the crescent hammer, we should be able just to knock it off without... Oh, I don't know. Can we? There we go. We can just knock it off like that. Uh, I'm going to grab hold of it and take it back up to the surface. Because I, I think the surface might be the better place to do this. You can see that we've got all the power and stuff here. Hi, how's it going? Thanks. Uh, we've got all the power and stuff on the go up here. So maybe if we just... Do I want to knock out the wall a little bit? I think... Uh, not the wall, the floor. I think we're just actually going to put a hole in like this. I was going to take out the, the ladder and do it like that, but I think maybe this will be a better plan overall. Oh no, look what I've done. Look what I've done. So where would that be? Did it fall down with this slot? Where's the pink slime spot? Oh, whoo. Whoo, I thought I'd lost that. I've had a, a few situations in a couple of games recently where I've broken blocks and not got the items inside them back. And oh, that, that was like flashback central there. So let's pop that in there and this should... Uh, quite happily burn this away for me so we're going to wait for the idle timer to go down and i think i need to sort out my inventory once we have done this little segment here okay last couple of seconds kind of hoping yeah okay do we get a pink slime crystal off of him no we don't no we don't oh what have i done wrong here all right so i'm gonna have to go away and do a little bit of research find out exactly what i've done there and i will see you guys in a second Oh, don't kill me. So the next thing that definitely needs doing, as I've completely drained this battery that came from the reactor, is to put in the power line to the reactor. Now, I've already started making myself a few energy conduits. These are just the lower tier ones, though, so I'm not sure if they are the ideal ones, but we'll use them. We'll, we'll see what we can do. I've also started putting in a little bit of a trench back here, so if I... Uh did I place that? Oh, I took place it there. That's fine. That's good with me. Uh, we can come down here. What is going on with this horrendous frame rate all of a sudden? Hopefully you guys can forgive me. I assume it's just everything that is going on inside this science room. So we got there. We just want to keep on moving this way. This is going to have to move. Uh, we can just do that like that for now. Uh, and we want to carry on this way. You can see I've put down a marker down below for the reactor. It says I'm only 18 meters away, but man, I've kind of feels like a lot further do i want to make a little dog leg here so we're going down i think i do we do want to carry on down uh, because the surface is just there sort of uh so let's keep digging we're bound to i was about to say run into silverfish eventually is that one of them i don't know it took a while to dig it uh let's just keep stepping down that was a little bit too soon okay so what we're gonna do now is just fill it in with cobble i mean we could be much more neat and exact there but we're just gonna run with that for now that was a weird bit of block block digging lag uh so this is the seed room we'll go down the outside here we should just fall through brilliant okay this is where we want to be maybe i want to get some of these high energy ones but with that hole dug i think we can start thinking about running this back up maybe we'll have a battery bank here and then everything can kind of empty out from this central spot yeah that kind of feels what i want to do that's a little bit of an annoying way for these to be placed but we can live with that most definitely okay we need to get ourselves nice and lined up and all the way up to the top so yeah i'm not sure exactly what we're going to have uh for the power solution here i'm definitely feeling a battery bank of some description maybe some more of these redstone energy cells i am drawing the power out of the system wirelessly again aren't i that's not ideal but it will do let's dig our way out here and that should be a hookup made Okay, so with that there and that there, I think we need to go back down and hook this battery that I've got, this one here, into the system. And then think about how we're going to run a much larger reactor into it. 
Okay, so here's our tiny setup for now. What I'm going to do is just pop that one in there. That does connect up. It does indeed. Now, hopefully, these eight will be enough to make it all the way up. I'm not overly hopeful about that, but we will see. We will see. Just around this corner. Bam. Okay, cool. So this is now all that power hooked up to the system. I'm going to take out three of these and start this up again. Um, so that was in. Let's pull some stuff out. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. These we can turn into another fuel source at some point, but not right now as we only have the two. This should now be filling its energy buffer. The temperature will be growing. I think we can put one more in. Let's 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 do that one more just to make sure we got the full. Uh, power running out of this machine uh, and we're just going to stop stop here and watch this for a second make sure nothing explodes and i'll bring you guys back when i've thought about the next next reactor design so when I did the last cut, I fully intended to go off and gather a whole load of stuff for making a turbine to fit in the back over there so we could have steam being produced in my reactor and then a turbine here making even more power. But then I started collecting stuff and I realized I needed a whole load of this cyanate ore um, and that only comes from depleted uranium. So, you know, that's a little bit of a no-go no there. But I reckon we can expand this one out a little bit. Now, I'm just going to break that one on top there. You can see our fuel rod in the bottom there looking all nice and radioactive. I'm going to put the fuel rod, a uh, second fuel rod in, sorry, so we can split it out amongst two, or rather more to the point so we can double up the amount we're using. Uh, I also want to break these, oh yes, and bring the access port around to this side. I think this little uh, rearrangement will do a world of good for when we uh, expand our operation here somewhat okay i then need to get back up and start placing some extra things in fact i need to put two things here to fill up this uh this void or in fact i wanted to make two things that will eventually go in that void here we have a couple of reactant cooler ports now these are what's going to shimmy uh water and steam off towards the turbine when that becomes a thing but at the moment that should they're just going to get stored until we have enough cyanite to make the reactor housing the turbine housing sorry so we're just going to fill it in with normal uh reactor casings at the moment if i had thought about it and planned ahead we could have used a little bit of glass but i had not so we will not uh and going around just filling this in should hopefully yeah make ourselves a double big reactor okay we're going to turn it back online and see what happens we are producing about oh wow over double the amount of redstone flux per tick. That's nice. Oh, I suppose it could be about double. We're only using 0.54 millibuckets per tick. But, you know, if you think about how quickly ticks go past, that's going to be depleted pretty fast fast uh, and we're not particularly overly hot and we're definitely not got a bit of a backlog on the go yeah that's cool everything is burning through it remarkably well okay another thing i want to talk to you guys about is i've moved my uranium ore down here i'm just going to grab uh, two or three bits here and bring them around to this side because i've got a pulverizer up top can you imagine what is going to happen to the pulverizer let's try and make it output down below now will that accept this no it won't i need another one of these augmentation devices but just imagine for now that the uh automatic relay kicked off and moved this down here and you can see i put in three we've got six out and it just burns for one for one so that's why i moved this reactor port around here to do that amazing magnificent isn't it this is everything we need to summon ourselves a brand new village so i'm gonna do the uh often terrible thing of putting the hopper on here first in fact i'm going to swing that around so that bad things cannot happen we're going to try and pick up the cardboard box now and pop it up here yeah brilliant okay and then it should be the shift click will take that back off everything should begin flowing into the hopper but if we uh now pair up the book with the rebuilding task uh, we want the select and then click on there you have rebound rebuilding to the qds and if we just spin this around a few times somewhere will be the correct one this and we should be able to watch this all fall into the machine now this is gonna take a little while so let's go and do a few station keeping items around the house to see what's going on uh so these 
cottons have grown nicely. These are very, very close to becoming 1010s. If I go over and look inside the analyzer here, you can see that's a 1089 and a 1099. Very close, still not quite all the way there, but getting there let's have a look down the bottom see how much cyanite we have produced i'm not expecting uh, wonders there have been a couple of nights and indeed we're making a little bit of an energy surplus now so that's pretty good maybe we want to drop down a control what control rod somewhat that's the cyanite ingot in total we have six still a long way off needing everything we need for the turbine but if i go in here and drop a control rod a little bit. Let's go down to about 50% power. Uh, and this should now be producing about 280 flux per tick. That's fine. Is this now going up or down? It's still going up. Though daytime I use a lot less power than I do at night. Um, which, you know, kind of makes sense. I've got all the, the powered spawners and things like that running at night. So I suppose now the only thing left to do is just watch this chest completely empty out. Just over 40 minutes later, wow, that took some time. We still got a few stone bricks emptying out of there, but wow, wow, that was a long time. We got some rain going also down below. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh, there is a slime up top, but down here, we should have a few of these guys going around. Now, I want to try and kill a few of them just to see. Oh, was there only one spawned? Oh, that is most inappropriate. How, how dare they? They, mu they must have spawned elsewhere. I can definitely hear a whole bunch of slime somewhere. Here's another one. You know, we're really not getting any of the slime balls off of these guys. That is most disappointing. Most, most dis Hey, this isn't where I want to be. Most disappointing. Okay, first off, let's have a look in the book. See how many... Ah, we were short of 90... Uh, short of four sand and gravel. I knew, I knew there'd be something. I knew there would be something, and it is behind this chest. So useful, so useful. Uh, so there's one of the sand. I wonder how long that's been there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's pop them in there. Let's uh, throw a couple more in just for luck in case my maths was really terrible. I mean, this is something that could possibly happen. And there we go. So obviously we're going to get the Wand of Summoning, and I think this time the Nether Star? All right, awesome. I'm going to go grab some food quick before I absolutely starve to death. Of Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. How are you doing? Obviously been stood there for a long time. Let's get some toast. Let's get some baked beans. Let's get some honeyed bread. Uh, yeah, th that should do me to get going with at least. I also want to quickly go and check in on uh, these uh, crops that's all good and of course the reactor down below to make sure that hasn't blown up because you know that would be hilarious if it was such a case no everything looks to be a-okay here how are we doing on this cyanite just another block okay that's cool all right back to the surface we need to make our way over to the plateau over there. We still haven't quite figured out what the name of the place is going to be. I can only sleep at night. That is a little disappointing, but I suppose the way it has to be. Let's top up my water. I was super scared that I was going to thirst to death while stood there uh, getting that time lapse. So much so that I did actually like break the time lapse for a second just to uh, see if I could top up my water. Uh, yes, I could, but wow, it was uh, it was touch and go for a little bit there. So let's go over this way. Where are we going to put the centre of town? I think over where that rock is, over this way. Yeah, definitely like that. So that's the block of gold. That is the wand of summoning. We will put the village centre here. Yeah, right here. Okay, right click that. This time I made sure I clicked on the gold instead of the obsidian near the gold. Okay, uh, you're not Japanese leader. You're not leader in any of the cultures. That's fine. So we've already got the Mayan. Oh, wow. Look at all these options. So Norman, Byzantine, mm, Hindi, 
Maybe we'll go for a Hindi or Japanese. I mean, Japanese is quite synonymous with mountain living, right? So let's go with that. Uh, Bukyu Mura? Yeah, oh, well, I'm going to do so well with names. Oh, ah, no, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Uh, anything but that. Oh, <laughs> oh. Got to use your teleport skills a lot in this game, I've noticed. You've got to use your teleport skills. Now, this is a nice-looking place, isn't it? Look at these guys. So these are... Uh, but starter huts for them all. What's going on over here? I wish I'd brought some lava to keep me warm. Uh, so this is the Onzo residence. Hello, how are you doing? Konnichiwa. Uh, I think everything should be going all right. Where do we do the trading? Is the trading in this house? Can I come and hide in here, please? Yes, this is where the trading happens. Also, wow, I am cold. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. What have we got? Um, it's all looking good, actually. We've got 10 adults, zero youth. That's good. Six buildings in there. No construction uh, at the go at the moment. They want 142 thatch. Are you guys kidding me? Oh, is it night time already? Uh, so we're going to spend the next... Oh, well, the, until the end of this episode, maybe a next couple of episodes, tending to this village. Try and get these guys up to as high a uh, tier as we can, can get. And maybe try and figure out how we become the leader of the Mayan and the Japanese cultures. But right now, I'm going to stand next to all this heavy machinery and try and get some warmth. All right, guys. So this reusable safari net here is the one with the pink slime in it that has not been giving me stuff. Uh, I believe you can just follow me around. We're, we're in a nice little safe place underneath. Uh, I've got enough pink slime from the Paradise Farms to be able to put another pink slime bucket down, though. Uh, and so hopefully I can get another one and it will do some good things. Man, it doesn't want to do it, does it? Doesn't want to do it. Come on, just a pink slime bucket. Just... Just, just give us some stuff. Is it because this guy's in the world? Should we, should we remove you? Come, come here, come here, <laughs> man. Can you catch the slime? There we go. There we go. So the other one's away. Okay, let's pop you over there and pick you up. Let's, let's just put this one in and see what happens. Right? Does the original, does the original get me some slime? No, no, it doesn't. Well. Bully to you too, mate. I'm not sure what we're going to do about this. Uh, maybe there's some other way of spawning slimes in and we could get like a bigger one. Maybe if we got like four slime buckets, we could make one of the bigger slimes. I say in my American accent. All right, guys. So the slime problem has brought me to the Great Obsidian Flats testing area. As you can see, the only thing I've ever had to test is whether that um, harvester would be able to pick up vines but let me come along and put down a load of pink slime like absolute tons of the stuff I, I can't even fit all the stuff in here that i want to fit in we're then going to take a step back and change my game mode back to survival just to make sure that this is a free test and i've got here a diamond sword of looting we're just going to beat up these slimes as they come in here let's uh, clear off one of my uh, hot bar slot so that we can see if I pick anything up anything at all just the first drop that these guys will drop I will be able to get access to but I think you might already see what it is I'm trying to lean towards here how about if they drown do they do we receive anything there no so my point here is that killing these slimes is not the way to get pink slime balls despite the fact that that being what the wiki and everything else says is the way so guys if you know what is going on here please do let me know in the comments i would really like to get this pink slime crystal quest underway so one last thing before I wrap up. If we have a look around at a few of these people, you can see above their heads. Oh man, you're not being very useful right there. But can you guys see that find the eggs? That's because if we talk to him, there are too many chickens around here. To stop them breeding, we need your help collecting eggs. We are lacking five eggs. I will get to that. I also spotted somewhere else. Strange reports. This is a new one. My wife has received reports from the villagers that the water from the well is making our kids unwell. Take this bucket and return a sample of water. Okay, I'll accept that quest. We got a bucket. Okay, where would the local well be? Let's let's go and have a look because this is a spring. That's not really what we're after. If I remember correctly, the well itself should be that one over there. Let's do a little teleport. Uh, let's get down there if we can. Yes. Okay grabbed us some water and let's go see if we can give this guy his quest i believe i believe this is how we end up being friends with these guys water sample there you go hi did you bring the water sample i did here you go thank you uh this will help me find the source of our problems i have obtained 128 re reputation 
and four experience. Look at that. Brilliant. Now, what am I going to do about these eggs? They, they want five eggs. Now, we do have a whole load of chickens over here. Um, where, where did they go? Uh, unfortunately, they do not seem to be laying eggs, and these guys keep breeding them up. I'm not sure what it means by the fact that they keep being bred up. Uh, let's see if we can't round them all together again, see what happens then. Uh, yeah, but these guys just don't seem to be laying any eggs. They've been here for a very long time now. Oh, man, he's going to end up drowning, isn't he? Come, come on, buddy, get get out of there. Get. Oh, how, how do we get him out? How do we get him out? Maybe he'll ask for less eggs if one of these guys drowns. Uh, maybe we can push him over that way. No, it doesn't look like we can. Well, he's going to start drowning soon. I mean, I, I'm already starting to think I'm going to drown. Okay, out. Out you go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so still no eggs. I reckon we can make eggs in the chemical composer, though. Let's have a look. Egg. Uh, it should be something we're able to do. No, it's produced by the leperine queen, but that is it. Okay. Oh, I've picked one up. Did one of you guys drop an egg? Is that what happened here? Okay, I'm going to wait around for the next five minutes because that's how long it takes for eggs to drop and I'll be back with the completion of this quest. All right, come here, dude. I've got I've got some things for you. There are too many chickens around here and stop them breeding. We need to collect their eggs. Here, take their eggs. Brilliant. They've given us five feathers. Uh, I'll be here sending these eggs home where I hope it will soon hatch. Please accept these symbols as my gratitude. Five feathers, some money, some reputation, some experience. Awesome. I also saw somewhere else, someone, one other person had another quest. Something about all the feathers. Uh, if we can go around and quickly find him. Oh no, this guy's find the eggs still. Lacking three eggs. Well, thankfully, here's another one. So if we can uh, grab him again. There he is, all the way over there. Uh, trying to spot the guys that are doing the individual quests is actually the hardest bit of this, I think. You are lacking two eggs. Oh, okay. So it needs a total. So that's going to be a repeatable quest, I am guessing. Someone around here definitely has another quest that I can finish, though. Frustrated Lumberman. No, we're not going to do that. This guy, more feathers. My wife makes pillows for us poor folk. To make them, we need lots and lots of feathers. Do you have any you can spare? Take this. Brilliant. I happen to have a load of feathers that were in my chest at home, so I just grabbed them. Uh, we've got some money and some experience. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this long and varied adventure. We have done things with reactors. We've done things with... Uh, villages. We've opened up another village. The Japanese all the way over. Do you reckon I can actually make it over here in time? We can. Uh, so we've got the Japanese to be work on. I will see you next time when we're going to do some Japanese work. I think we're also going to do some more Mayan work and go around and do a whole load of quests. But I will see you then when we are going to do that. Bye!